today I'm going to be doing my loot video. So, first of all, I'll start with a few things that I got with some money I had been given for my birthday. So I went down to my local hobby shop, um, Taupo Hobby, and uh, they <laughs> were getting rid of a whole lot of their white dwarf magazines. Uh, all the old ones for free. So uh, I decided that I would uh, have a look through them and choose some of the ones that I uh, really thought would be cool. And so I got 11 of them. Um, and I'm pretty stoked about that. And then there's some really cool ones in here. Um, first of all, I got some with some Hobbit in them. But the ones that I thought were the coolest was uh, this issue from the 20th of December 2014, which has a mini game in it for um, hunting for the Arkenstone with um, with Smog and Bilbo, and it's using uh, playing cards and dice rolls, and I just thought it was so cool. Um, to have a mini game like that, and also there's a second mini game in here as well. Hunt, hunt, sacrifice with um, uh, some lizard men and the uh, God, what is he? Hell, what help it abomination. So I thought that was really awesome. And then the other one that I have that I thought was awesome also has another mini game in it from the 11th of October 2014. And that has that's featuring the blight, the blight kings, which uh, already is pretty cool. And then the mini game that they have in here is a, a racing game, which is um, just using dice, uh, a mini of your choice, and a racing track that you set up yourself. So <laughs> those are the two that I enjoyed the most, and I have. Um, a nice selection of different ones here. I have the end times featuring the gash and um, some other really cool um, kind of specials I guess because they're thicker and uh, one on the Warriors of Chaos and one on the Dark Elf so I thought those were pretty cool so the next thing that I got at my local hobby shop was some minis. They were having a 20% off sale and um, getting rid of some of their older stock uh, that wasn't moving. So I got myself um, a Bastilodon. I want to get some of the larger lizards from the Lizardmen army of course because they just look so freaking cool and how awesome is he going to be to paint. And the other thing I got was some plague drones. So cool. Love, love, love them. Can't wait to paint them. I told you I was going to get some of those. Um, and also, I got from a different store, I got some new paints. Because my other ones are kind of going a bit weird. They're really, really old. So I decided to get some acrylic brand and I'm going to test them out and see how they work out. So um, I got my three normal colors yellow, blue and red and I've already got white and black that still seems to be okay in my older brand that I have and then I because they were quite a reasonable price I decided to splash out and get myself some other colors that are a little bit harder to mix. Sometimes you can't get the exact colour. I mean it can be done but it takes a little time and it can be easier just to have them on hand. Uh, one of them is a skin tone base so that's going to be really handy. Um, really helpful. So that was the one that I thought would be uh, good to have. Not that I can't mix skin tones but saves time when you're painting a whole lot of models. I got Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, Raw Sienna and Raw Umber. So um, 
It'll be interesting to test those out to see. I most likely will mix them anyway to make them different shades. I'm not going to use them straight, probably. I just don't don't like doing that. I like to mix my own colours. Anyway, moving on to uh, Grandmaster Painter's voucher that I won, and I used some of my own money in, in, in addition to that so that I could purchase some of these really cool models. So I will zoom in for you. So the first one I got is this awesome, awesome model. And I can't remember what he's called. Festus? Oh yeah, Festus Leech Lord. And um, he is in fine cast. I've not heard very good things about fine cast, so... I'm a bit concerned about it, but um, I'm really looking forward to painting him up. Look how awesome he is. He just looks so super cool. And the next one I got is, unfortunately there's no artwork, but it's a Sor uh, uh, I think it's an old blood Saurus warrior oh, riding a cold one for my lizard man army. And uh, he is a mixture of uh, plastic and metal, which is a bit interesting, but hey, they probably, a lot of models come with that, I guess. Dunno, let me know. Do they? So that's the second one I got. The third one I got is this wonderful Nurgle Chaos Lord. And he is going to be cool to paint up. And he is, um, here he is in his box. And the other model I got is Gutrot Spoon. And he is just a really cool model. And, um, here he is. And one thing I noticed about these two models in particular, and I don't know what the difference is between them, whether one's older and or whatever, but on um, Gut Rot, his, his um, must have a newer uh, cast or something like that, because his chainmail is just incredible. You can see right through some of the little holes in the chainmail, whereas... Um, my Chaos Lord here, he, you can't, and it's just sculpted as a solid piece of chain mail. You can't see through the individual chains. So, if anybody knows why that is, let me know, but I'm assuming that this must be a newer model. I don't know. Maybe he's older? It's just crazy. I couldn't find a date on them, so I couldn't um, work that out. Anyway... The uh, next thing I got with the help of Grandmaster Painter's voucher was the Warriors of Chaos Army book. So I um, decided to go with the Warriors of Chaos uh, because they have Nurgle included with all the other uh, Demons of Chaos. Well, not all of them, apparently. And... Um, yeah, some really other cool models. So, one thing that I was really confused about was um, on the website of um, of um, Games Workshop, sorry, on their website, when you go into the Warriors of Chaos, kind of looking at all the models to purchase them, they have um, a whole lot of uh, plague drones and uh, plague bearers, and they also have um, the God. I've forgotten what they're called now. And the Magath Lords. So they have them on the website in the Warriors of Chaos section, and yet when you look in the Warriors of Chaos army book, they aren't there. And I was really confused by this. I did email. Um, Games Workshop to ask them what the story was with that. I mean, I'm 
maybe somebody else can tell me if they don't get back to me why that would be, why they would advertise the um, models in the Warriors of Chaos section but then they're not in the Warriors of Chaos book I'm assuming because I have no idea is it because that they're already in another book or do I have to buy that book as well to use my models in the Warriors of Chaos army I don't know someone please enlighten me so um the books of course are fantastic fantastic artwork if anyone wants to have a, a detailed look through the book then I will be happy to do that let me know um, so that's the purchases I made with the help of Grandmaster Painter's voucher that I won in his giveaway and I just want to say a big thank you to him um, for that and I'm really happy with what I got, I can't wait to paint them. I ran out of primer so I couldn't build them, but um, I can't wait to paint them. It's going to be so awesome. And um, I'm building, a, I'm sorry, I'm doing another project um, at the moment, which I will do another video on. But I just wanted to talk about <laughs> a game that I've been obsessed, obsessed with since I got it not long ago and I don't know if anybody else out there loves the Lego games on PS3 but if you do um, if you have kids too they would just love this game Jurassic Park Lego now I haven't seen the fourth movie for Jurassic Park yet it's not come out on DVD which is how I watch my videos but I don't go to the cinema anymore it's too expensive here so I usually purchase all my uh, DVDs, don't go to the cinema, purchase them instead. Um, so I haven't seen the fourth movie yet, but uh, there's, of course, um, it's now, I know what happens in the movie from playing the game, because it's got the first three movies and then it's got the new one as well involved in it. Um, and I just love the Lego games. I, I don't know what it is about them. They're really simple to play, um, but then they have all this extra goals and trophies and things that you can collect and to get you know like a hundred percent in the game you have to collect all these different uh, objects and, and things like that and then PS3 also has the separate trophies that you can get by doing certain things in the game and ah, uh, I don't know let me know how you guys feel about the Lego games I if anyone else has played the Jurassic World um, game let me know what you thought of it, but I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed. I've, we've, um, me and my partner Nat, we've clocked the game already, um, and we're just going back now to get 100% in the game and do all the trophies because that's what we usually do with our Lego games. We've got um, all the other ones. I think for PS3, we've got Harry Potter, we've got Lord of the Rings, we've got The Hobbit, we've got Batman, we've got. Uh, Indiana Jones, um, I think there might be another one. Oh yes, Pirates of the Caribbean. Harry Potter Pirates of the Caribbean uh, were my favourites, but I really love Jurassic World. Uh, I think it's my favourite at the moment. It's pretty freaking cool, pretty awesome. I love it. If you haven't played it, play it. It's a lot of fun. So, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!